Hey people, Incred here, VV3 Faction War this is, Argent Shelf Redux and Space Marines vs Tyranids, Blue Space Marine Team. The God Emperor has shown up apparently as a Tech Marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts us a good damage, can support with structures and repair, Lamenters, I think that all three are Lamenters actually. Yes they are, Brood Witch with an Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. And rather than off the blue team, Cyanide as a force commander for a strong offense fighting in melee can also tank, disrupt and support. Red Tyranid, Swagger Git Smacker, is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist infiltrate and disrupt. Some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside the Tenso with a Ravana Alpha. Tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon. Rounding off the teams, Black Ward as a Hive Tyrant. A durable hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Martinez. Going up against the Force Commander gets a good special. Looks like it's double termagants for Swagger and Black Ward with the Tenso going double Hormagants. All three Space Marine players with the single tactical Marines so expect them to get pushed back early unless very early shotguns come in. Which doesn't seem that we're going to see. They might get a scout model on this west side. What's this now? Former Gaunt's being chased. These are swaggers and they are going to wipe, I think. They grab this and then he must have given them a shift command to do in the future and forgot about them. Unfortunately for those former Gaunt's. They are being replaced though by swagger. Good special by the apothecary there. This might be a good, a good matchup to get that sanguine chainsaw in alongside your purification vials maybe. Helps you brawl in amongst those Termagants and Hormagants and do some decent damage as well. I go down here though, the Apothecary. Just standing in melee with the Ravener getting shot at by Termagants with Hormagants on retreat path. Didn't work out. Oh, Ravener's got a melee weapon too. Crippling Talon. 40% speed and damage reduction is huge. More melee skill, more health and 55 melee DPS. Pretty nice piece of war gear. Now trying to power bash is the Tenso. I see... I thought they were in retreat, but it is backing off. Blackwater is backing off double termagants and Hormagants. They could be supporting this power bash, maybe. I think they're backing off because their Hive Tyrant is not around. Martinez had to retreat off. Here he is. But as you can see, the Tyrant is sweeping through. Space Marines will typically hit back very quickly once they start getting their third units up. God Emperor's gone double tax, and it's Devastators for Cyanide and Broodwitch. Ravenna Alpha might go down here, actually, because there's stuff on the stairs. I think he's going to get shot down, yep. Yeah. Ravenna falls. Maybe Martinez can come and revive, or Swagger Git Smacker can come and sneak over. Potter Carry here, going to get revived by the Tech Marine. God Emperor might level them to two. Nope, pretty close, though. Termigant's backing off for Swagger. That's a lot of Marines and stuff over there. Hormagants get the flank on Devastators of Cyanide. Losing one model, maybe two. Need to get their shotguns up, I think. Those guys lucky to get away with two models. Double Termigants with Toxin Sacks now backing off. Where's that crippling poison, fellas? Nope, there's running off. Where is Martinez? Here he is. They should have stayed in play. Hive Tyrants right here. Meanwhile, a Power Bash. A combined Power Bash, I think. Is this Brood Witch? No, it's mostly God Emperor. It just has a lot of stuff. No Flamers, though. Does have Grenade uh, and now Shotgun Scouts with their Sergeant. So those Hormon Gaunts might get Grenaded. No, they got Shotgun. Flesh Hook on the Apothecary. Suddenly, tons of Tyranids show up. Ravner Broods from Swagger and the Tenso. I don't think the Lictor has war gear yet. Our weapon, of course, would be great against all this heavy infantry marines. And Master Crafted Bolter is in for the Tech Marine. Pretty common pick, I would think, Master Crafted Bolter against Tyranids. On demand suppression. The big burst of damage on high powered shot, and it's just good DPS. Borrow Strike on the Devastators. I don't think they even needed it because Tenso was coming around the side. Then just put them in melee stance so that they chop stuff through. Get to model. Now to the power, I guess. It is full again. 
Taking the Western VP, of course. Up the east side, contested power, trying to be grabbed by the Force Commander, who does have a fair chunk of XP, this guy. Typically will level quite fast against Tyrannies. I think he's got a good bolt pistol. It's like 17 DPS bolt pistol and that 40 DPS chainsaw does some good work. As well as those specials, of course, on Battlecry. Yeah, they don't like the Flamers. They really don't like the Flamers. It's super bad for the Termigants because they obviously stand still to shoot. And they just got wrecked by the Prometheum. Crypt and Poison on the Force Commander who runs. There's that Flamer. As, look at that. That was like half a second of Tactical Marine Flamer. It's roasting those Termigants. Tier 2 for Blackboard, the first player to go Cyanide with Assault Squad on the way. Which uh, needs to be careful because of the double Hormagaunts of the Tenso. Double Hormagaunts with Adrenal Glands will mess up Tier 1 Assault Marines quite badly. Even if they get the jump, I think. Devastators are flanked quite easily by the Hormagaunts. I don't think these double attacks can stand here and hang out. We do have improved Synapse up on Martinez, the Hive Tyrant. Help out his little Tyranid buddies with some more health. 366 to 451, Burrow Strike. In on the Assault Marines, that's double Hormogaunts and Ravenous on those guys now. They need to be very careful. They need to jump out. They need to jump out. They do jump out. One of them died in midair, apparently, and they get away barely with one model. Maybe we'll see that Thunder Hammer in Tier 2 from Cyanide. Devastators facing the stairs. Bioplasma goes in. Another tool to use against these Devastators that they're facing a lot of here. But can't just run into them like that. Purification piles on the stairs. Actually quite well dodged by Swagger. I feel like Martin as the Hive Tyrant. Blackboard could have been a bit more nuanced there and kept the Hive Tyrant in play. Just backed off, waited for Ravenous support maybe. To get the other Devastators. Now they're power bashing though. I think those Hormagons should split up. Here comes flame attacks. We've seen what those can do. Force Commander trying to be they're trying to control him with the crippling poison. But he got too close. And then they ran into more marines and more fire. Okay, they only got the node down. I didn't even get it down. They damaged the node quite a lot. It might be worth repairing that, but I think they want to push on. Tech Marine with Orbs of the Omnissile already queued up. And that will be good against Carnifexes. Does it mess up the current guard as well? Well, it would drain all of its energy, which is very bad for a Tyrant guard. Can't charge out. Good grenade. Beautiful grenade from those scouts. Nicely done, Broodwitch. Almost got a wipe there. Lick to Alpha. Still no war gear. Still a threat, but he's only level 1 with no war gear, so... Not as much of a threat as they could be, perhaps. They spent their power end of tier 1 on that warrior brood with Barbed Strangler. It does give you a lot. Tyrant Guard on the way for the Tenso. Swagger. No, in fact, Brood Witch was the last pair to go tier 2. Do they have Sergeants up? What have they spent their resources on here? Nothing yet. Raffin is coming in. 366 to 400. Look a bit of a messy fight here. Surely we're going to see the Thunderhammer or something. Yeah, these are not the melee Raveners. Hormagons coming in. Can they finish off that Force Commander? They're on retreat path. They're going to try to plant their feet and shoot or plant their tails, I guess. I think they could have got him, but there's a lot going on there for the Tenso to bring that kill in. Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood now for Black Ward. Heavy melee damage, way more hit points, 65% more hit points, more melee skill, and they get heavy melee DPS, as well as, of course, providing a powerful melee synapse to surrounding non-synapse melee creatures, such as these Hormagaunts. Warrior Brood on the way for the Tenso. Where's that Tyrant Guard? I was hanging out over it. Killed something there, maybe. Big old beastie fighting in melee. Super heavy infantry armor, so they'll want plasma and melter and that kind of thing to counter it. Which they can get, of course, on their tactical marines. 
the Tech Marine can also get a very powerful plasma gun and a melter gun. Keeping the pressure up though, eh? With some infestation capillary towers. Not getting the VP very much though. I think they're focusing on the power. They don't want Space Marines getting their tier 3 groove on early if they can help it. Ravenna Alpha now fully kitted with reinforced chitin. Slows down stuff that hits him in melee. Does that stack with crippling talon? I wonder. You'd think so. Also gives him 200 hit points and immunity to weapon and domino knockback. Pretty cool. And strengthened sinew for just more speed. 1.5 speed bonus permanently is massive. Stern Guard veterans on the field for God Emperor. They can use the Vengeance rounds against the Tyrant Guard. I don't know where he's gone though. Oh, he's gone to the mid. They should be using... Oh, they're using Kraken Bolts on the Warrior Brood, I think. That's what's happening there. And they have Missile Launcher Tactical Marines too. And more Tactical Marines. God Emperor, despite being a Tech Marine, with a very large infantry army there. Tunnel on the eastern edge. Help defend that power, I guess. We have a Razorback. Awesome tool to have in pretty much every game if you can use it well. Has that 55 DPS Twin Link Heavy Bolter allows you to reinforce around it as well. And even jump inside. Stern Guard here now for Brood Witch using Hellfire Rounds. Damage over time versus Light Infantry and Heroes. And Martinez has got a Venom Cannon. Powerful ranged anti-vehicle weapon. Current guard goes in. I don't think they have any plasma. Stone guard might Stone guard might switch to vengeance rounds to shoot it down. Big Tyranid push here. Assault squad jumping in. Purification vials. Doing some decent work. Cormagon's leaping very strangely there. That can sometimes happen when you change targets in the middle of a leap. And we do see a Thunderhammer Force Commander going to work now. That battle cry getting those special attacks. Termagants cripple him. Cormagons are there. Adrenal Gan Warrior Brood is there. Tyrant Guard is ripping through stuff. Raven is in the back lines. I mean, they made a decent stand of it, the Space Marines. They just got caught off guard slightly. They didn't, didn't, get, didn't get like 10 seconds or so to, to position themselves and get all their Devastators set up and that kind of thing. They did all right. I mean, they're still in play. They're actually threatening his Tyrant Guard quite a lot. Tyrant Guard is trying to get on those Stern Guard, which are doing the most damage because of those Vengeance rounds. Ah, oh, Martinez went down. I'm not sure... Oh, Lictor Alpha's down as well on the west side. Where is the Ravenna Alpha? He's running off. Well, he's slithering off. Maybe they can revive one or both of them. Power bashing now from Swagger. Has a zone throat somewhere. There it is. Way back on the west side. Typically don't want to push that guy too far forward. Very vulnerable. Can be. Space Marines pushing all the way through. Brood Witch's Apothecary here. With a great vile spot. Actually really well dodged by Black Ward. Did hit that Hormogon Brood quite well. But it could have been way worse I feel like. Still a bunch of green crap around. I wonder what he actually is throwing there. What's in the vial exactly does it tell me? Just some purity. Oh, Tyrant Guard went down. Vengeance rounds helping out a lot with that, of course. Now they put their Hellfire rounds back in. So Throat needs to be careful. Needs to be very, very careful. We've got some Plasma attacks. That'd be great for ripping through the Warrior Broods. And a Melter Gun Tech Marine now getting ready for Carnifexes, I guess. And Artificer Armor for Proximity Mines. Don't get to see these mines very often. In a 3v3, there's pretty much always going to be a detector unit around, unless perhaps you're fighting Eldar or something. They don't get their rangers. Termigant Brood barely getting away. Zone Throat getting some good shots in. Throws up the shield. Meanwhile, power bashing on Space Marine's Northeastern Power. The Tenso straight back on it. Has their own Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood now. In fact, was that the only one? No, Black Ward has some too. Apothecary fell. Ravenna Alpha, were they able to revive 
Martinez or they just repurchase? I'm not sure. Almost level three, this guy. Lick to Alpha. Lick to Alpha just repurchased. 324 to 274. Tyranids are going to take the west side back. Tier 3 for Broodwitch. A big deal for the Space Marines to get their tier 3 going. Barb Trango suppressing these guys. A strangled thorn pen and pun effects would be amazing on this side. Grenade. It's a nice grenade. Didn't get a kill off it, but really well placed. Did tons of damage. They get a kill afterwards. Thanks to the damage that the grenade did. Got the cap. Zone Throat needs to be careful. Throws up the shield. That psychic PvP damage that the Zone Throat does is bad news for heavy infantry. Also provides that Hell 3 Gen Aura synapse. I'm not sure why they threw orbs of the Omnisire on the former Gaunts. They don't have any energy. And they're certainly not a vehicle. Kicking off in the mid. Thunderhammer Fools Commander getting to work. Also has the Teleporter Pack. Supported, of course, by an Apothecary. It's a pretty good combo. And they're getting through the mid and onto the power with Assault Squad, Flame Attacks, and that Thunderhammer Fools Commander. They should be able to make pretty short work of this. Martinez is coming to have a word. But doesn't have much of an army left, actually. And they were bashing that power. Oh, they got a full bash on it, though. Didn't get a decap. Tunnel being used for defense here. Thanks to the Tenso. Got one gen and the node down. I thought they'd get more than that. Force commander. Where'd he go? He teleport away. Oh, teleported away. Sword squad jump out and run. Now that they know there's a tunnel there, you might see something come try to destroy it. They got two generators and a node. Almost all three. So a pretty decent bash there from Cyanide. Who goes tier 3, so does God Emperor. In fact, all the players are tier 3 or going tier 3. So expect to see some more of this. We have a Stranglethorn Cannon Khan effects for Black Ward. Awesome weapon. Huge amounts of damage with suppression. Goes into melee though to fight this single entity here. Big chunks of damage. On the west side. Lick to Alpha. What do you got, buddy? You got a deadly jump. Might be worth getting Lone Hunter on this guy to patrol this west side. There is a contested victory point, though. So you might see a, a lot of action from both sides. Lick to Alpha trying to get Corrosive Claws and goes down. Misjudged that fight slightly. Can't effects on the way for the Tenso. Assault Terminators on the field for Cyanide somewhere. They are up near their natural victory point. We'll keep stay over here for now. Really good attack. God Emperor needs to be very careful not to stay too long here. They got out. Maybe a grenade or a shotgun blast here. There we go. Some domino knockback. And here's your tech marine. Killing termigants with a melter gun. Little bit overkill. But he likes it. Again, I'll, th I'll throw the orbs on, on the raveners, which drains their energy, I guess. They are quite energy intensive, those fellows, with their burrow striking. Back to the mid. We have some regular terminators as well for Broodwitch with Thunderhammers. No, with Power Fists and Storm Bolters getting an Assault Cannon in. That's going to rip through those smaller Tyranids very quickly. And there's your Assault Terminators. Thunderhammers and Storm Shields on these guys, unique to the Force Commander. They can put huge pressure on this Carnifex, especially going that far forward, taking last cannon shots. I don't think this Carnifex is going to get away. That was way too far to push it up when you had no idea what was in there. They obviously didn't know there was Assault Terminators there. But now they really do. But now they do. Okay, Venom Brood on the way. I want to see some Death Spitters. Haven't seen any Death Spitters yet in 2984 where they were buffed. And they should do pretty well against big groups of Marines and stuff. We'll see. I guess they were seen to not be good enough if they were buffed. They seemed alright to me in the replays I saw. Here's your Carney fix from the Tensor. Doesn't have an upgrade yet. They're waiting for power, I guess, are they? Oh, they just purchased a Venom Cannon. Okay. Was not expecting a Venom Cannon. 
Only vehicle on the field from the Space Marines is the Razorback. I guess the Venom can can maybe hit the Terminators okay, maybe. But since Terminators were made medium and not large a while ago now, that's much more difficult. We'll see how it does. It does get the Bioplasma. Increase the Carnifex speed. I did not, I did not realise that. I completely forgot that change or something. That's very interesting. Terminator taking huge amounts of damage. Yeah, you get you get double Hormogorns or something on a Terminator squad. They will do a surprising amount of damage. There's so many attacks going in. And because the Terminators are quite large, they can get all of the Termigants around the models kind of thing. None of them are wasted. 265 to 147. Good push by the Tyranids through the mid. Can they get the VP though? Yep, they can try. These guys are still chasing. Oh, they're trying to finish off the, the Terminators. Holy crap. There's the Vile. But the carry already threw the heal out, I think. Base turret saved them. Those Terminators were very, very low. Bioplasma goes in, tried to finish them, couldn't quite get a hit. Nice idea by the Tenso, though. Very nice idea. Swagger gets a Carn Effect on the way. That's Swagger's first Carn Effect, I think. And the west side looks like it's going to turn red for the Tyranids. 130 VPs or so in it. Space Marines with the VP lead. So here's the... Yep, we do have Death Spitters up. 26 Inferno PvP damage. What's the range? I think it's standard 38 range. Martinez runs away. Martinez now has Crushing Claws though. And Warp Field. Hormogaunt's doing some good work. Level 3 Hormogaunt's will mess up a Tactical Marine squad quite a lot. And then maybe die. They're almost dead. How do they still have two models? Should have shot them, I think, instead of the node there. The Tenso's Carnifex and a little bit of bother. Oh, these guys don't have Thunder and Lightning, no, they don't have a Melter Bomb. Seems strange. What are they saving for specifically here? Maybe for a Land Raider. Might be that Cyanide wants a Land Raider up. Have an Alpha. Getting smacked. Over a thousand hit points, slowing the slowing these guys when the Ravener hits them and slows them when they hit him. Which is pretty cool. Big old thunder hammer hit. That was huge amounts of disruption. Can they kill him? They can. Martinez gets it with his sink kill, which I don't think animated properly. Properly, so that was great. West side, God Emperor always gets back in there. Did lose some tax along the way, but now has a Dreadnought on the field. Strangled Thorn Cannon Carn effects for Swagger Get Smacker. Bit of damage. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. Sneaky scouts coming in, looking for a grenade maybe. Spawn mines going in there, spawned from the Carn effects. There's your grenade. They dodged it. Kind of, mostly. Yeah, they mostly dodged it. Tyranids retaining the west side, and now it's kicking off in the mid. Genes to the Brood on the field for Black Ward. Has double Venom Brood as well. These guys do have their Venom Cannons still. But they might go double Death Spitters. The Gene Stealers are a huge threat to these Terminators now. Unless they have Claws, which they could get. They're massively threatened by those Genestealer Brood. Especially with Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood support. There's a Tyranna Formation that will buff all these Tyranids here. And sends the, the Assault Terminators flying. Puts them into more trouble maybe. Orbital also goes up. I don't think it hit anything significant. And there's a Neuro Throat from the Tenso as well. Looks like the Assault Terminators get away. And lots of suppression and a Predator Tank there ends the Tyranid push. I thought the Tyranid was going to sweep on there. I thought they were going to sweep through. Look at the damage to the Neuro Throat from that assault cannon. That was crazy. They are holding the west side, so I wonder if Brood Witch is going to come over and help out. Dark Age of technology on this Dreadnought with an assault cannon. It's taking Venom Brood hits, though. Taking huge damage. Grenade goes in, and it's well dodged again. 
actually got a split there. 152 to 137. Broodwitch with a Predator tank on the way. Vanguard veterans are up for cyanide. There's a Salt Terminate is need a reinforcement. Nobody getting a Land Raider Redeemer up yet then. They've all spent their stuff. Something's going for the Tyranid Natural. What is that? Oh, it's Scouts. They came to the wrong neighborhood. Here comes a tank to the west side. That could be a huge help. Maybe Black Ward could put a brood nest over here to help out Swagger a bit. Some reinforcements and stuff. The brood nest has been nerfed quite a few times over the years, but I still think it's pretty great in a 3v3. Throw it on that contested victory point. Where is the Neuro Throat? It's right here. Look at his rosters for the, for the Tyranids. They have huge armies. Infestation capillary towers going up to buff everything. And the Space Marines hold is another Parano formation. It might force the Terminators to use the teleport. He didn't. Orbital goes in though. That could be nasty. They've done the right thing. They've split the beams up so it might it might blow them into other beams kind of thing and it has that was a hell of a nuke paroxysm goes in carnifex falls but the carry now has a power axe kicking some ass well they stop the push with a big old nuke suddenly those tyranid armies aren't quite as full as they were looks like maybe only black ward actually lost models i think swagger did as well they just had so many units we see Acid Splatter now from the Raven Alpha. Area of Effect Power Weapon. It's pretty good. The splash damage rather than the Area of Effect. I don't think the splash is power though, is it? No, the splash damage is piercing. West side is still red. Swagger's done a great job holding this consistently. Which now means he's going to get flanked by... It's just the Force Commander. Level 8 this guy though. Done a great job since they got the hammer. They're attacking from both sides is Cyanide. There's that Tech Marine. So in front needs to be careful. Focus Warp Blast knocks back the Force Commander, then he retreats off. Carnifex gets into some melee, but needs to move soon because there's a Melter Gun coming in and Assault Terminators and some Stern Guard and a Missile Launcher. Yep, and a Missile Launcher. I think it's far enough away. Spawn mines go out to harass and annoy stuff. Here comes Ravenet Alpha of the Tenso. Sensing the 2v1 on the west side or just seeing it and coming to help out. Tech Marine's in trouble now. Got flesh hooks. There's those corrosive claws. Debuffs on hit. And it's a power weapon as well. Gets on the Force Commander. Sends him packing. Takes a lot of damage though the Lictor Alpha doing that and has to retreat. But the uh, Stranglethorn Cannon doing some good work. Ravenet Alpha's in there. Very low. And that was some good scout business on the, on those guys. I think they got grenaded or something. Well judged by the Tenso there. Helped get those guys out of it. Nothing here to cap anymore though. And look at this pushing through. Cyanide is still here with Assault Terminators and the Vanguard Veterans. Going after this kind of fix now. And these both swaggers. I think they are, yeah. The same colour scheme. Gives it away. 48 to 92. Space Marines are on the Tyranny's natural as well. Map looking very blue right now. They've, they've absorbed huge amounts of pressure and able to hit back. Level 7 Apothecary here. Gets the decap. There's a double now for Space Marines. Carn effects on the way for the Tenso. Another Parano formation and a paroxysm in there. There's Angels of Death from Broodwitch, though. Another orbital. Every time they use a Parano formation, they answer with a nuke of their own, it seems like. Didn't get the cap, but it's still a 2 to 0 double. God Emperor with a tank. Nope, cancels it. 
Well, the Emperor is down to only three units, but Cyanide is helping out on this west side, I think. Are they? Where's the... Oh, the Terminators have backed off. No, where's Cyanide's Terminators? Yeah, they've backed off. So Tyranids might be able to get this side back. Ravenous going for the cap. Still double Carnifex is here. And yeah, Swagger does have a zone threat that can heal them with Symbiosis. And they're grabbing their natural back too. And there is Martinez, he's level 4 now with that Crushing Claws. Big old Crushing Claws. And double Gene Stealer Broods. And they have Rending Claws so they can tear through vehicles as well. On the west side, they can't cap because here's a Force Commander showing up with a teleporter. Stone Guard, nope. Tactical Marines are capping. Ouch. Just dropped two models to double strangle thorns, but they got the cat. And that might be it. That might be enough. Tyranids are trying to get on the on the Space Marine natural. But here come Vanguard veterans now. Grenades going in. Ravna Brood White, maybe. Yep, Ravna Brood White. One to one cat. Tyranids decapped over here. Lictor Alpha, is it? Yep, Lictor Alpha's getting it. It's not a tier 3 Lictor. Is this a whirlwind? It is a whirlwind on the west side. Looks like both the carn effects are dropping. Swagger lost a lot there. They really need to hold the mid, the Tyranids. There's the 2 to 1. There's a Brood Nest up, eh? Don't think it's finished yet, though. No, it's not finished yet. You can reinforce off that thing. Gives you a little bit of health regeneration as well. They need to be super aggressive and keep things the hell away from this VP. Lots of damage. The uh, Venom Cannon actually hitting quite well there, actually. Look at that. Did way better than I thought it would against the Terminators. Here comes God Emperor. And that's Cyanide's tank. That's another Parano Formation. Gene Stillers get the tank down. And now they're in on the Assault Terminators with Hive Tyrant support as well. Orbital goes in again. How many nukes in this game? It grabbed Martinez. And Shotgun Scouts come and help the Terminators out. 10 to 6, 1 to 1 cap. Were there two? Were there two Orbitals there? Or was that one? Bioplasma. It's a good shot, you know. I think they should have just thrown it here, though. 10 to 6, 1 to 1 cap. Space Marines grab their natural. And there's the 2 to 1. That could be it. Unless something is capping west side. They got the decap. Something got the decap on the west side. I guess it's the Lictor. Yeah, it's the Lictor Alpha. And they're decapping here, too. At least the Ravenna's trying to. Ravenna gets the decap. Single now for Tyranids. Can they get the double? Warrior Brood is here. Lictor Alpha is there. One of them needs to be fighting. There we go. They got it. Double cap. I think Tyranids have it. Close. Close game. What an awesome one. Fantastic faction war. Look at his heroes. End of it. Level 6. Tech Marine. A level 8. Apothecary. Doing some work with his axe at the end. In the middle of... I think that was Vials, wasn't it? Going off. A level 9 force commander. Never got an armor upgrade, but was still super effective. The Lictor Alpha level 4 at the end. Helping to get this cap. On the west side. The Tensos Ravenna Alpha level 6 down to get that epic decap. They didn't get a decap, they wouldn't have won it, I don't think. Well, they had a double at the end, so maybe a single could have been enough. And Black Ward's Hive Tyrant Martinez level 5. Awesome stuff. Was close all the way through. Very competitive. Good level of play. Awesome stuff. Big thanks to Tenso for running the lobby, getting this game, and sending it to me. All these guys for taking part, and you of course, for watching. I'll see you next time.